Hey folks, good to see you on this Thursday evening. Hope you're doing well. Hope you've had a good day. Good to see you guys hopping on here. Good to see you. Uh, glad you're you're joining us tonight. Um, anyways, like I said, hope you've had a good Thursday. Hope you've been uh, productive and successful in all you've uh, tried to do and, and, and worked at. Uh, hope you've uh, found time for, uh, for prayer, for rest, for renewal. Uh, and this time, just like tonight, is a great time to, to do just that. So I don't want to be on here long. I don't want to take a whole lot of time tonight. Uh, we're getting kids to bed. You might hear some... Uh, unpleasant children <laughs> because they don't want to go to bed but you know what it is what it is uh, we're, we're hitting that time of the evening and and i'm getting it all wound down but uh i uh, want to let you know that, that pastor mickey is in his apartment he is uh moved in now when i say moved in that means that the moving truck is empty <laughs> it doesn't mean he has moved in yes did you come in with owen's blanket from the car this afternoon i don't recall no. We're missing a blankie. That could be a bad thing. Anyways, uh, I think the van keys are on my nightstand, buddy. Um, okay. Anyways, Pastor Mickey is is uh, in his apartment. Uh, the moving truck is empty. Uh, now he has the fun joy of unpacking and all that stuff, which we're still like doing here so it it takes a while now he's only one versus we're eight but it still takes a long time doesn't it to get moved in to get settled in to get unpacked but we're excited that he's here uh being prayed for him as, as he's going to join us uh and, and officially start on sunday um and we'll uh, introduce him to the congregation and you guys have an opportunity to meet him and say hello well it's good to be on here and good to close our night out just like this with all of you guys uh, like I said before, I hope you've had a good day. I hope, I hope you've had a uh, successful day. And guess what? If you didn't, it's okay. We have more opportunities. If Jesus doesn't come back, right? We have more opportunities. And so, uh, let's take tonight. And let's uh, let the stress roll off our back just the way, the same way uh, water runs off a duck's back. And be ready uh, to find rest, renewal. And be ready for a new day tomorrow. New opportunity. A new opportunity to be Jesus. To be his hands and feet. Uh, to be part of his body. Serving, doing, changing our world. Well guys, love you. Appreciate you. Let's get ready and we're going to say the Lord's Prayer together. Uh, oh good. good. Whew, there's a blanket. We found it. It's there. All right. Let's take this moment. Like I said, we're not going to be long tonight, but I at least want to get on here and, and, and say hello and, and visit with you and have an opportunity to, to wish you good night. But before we do that, let's say this prayer. This is the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples. You've heard me talk about it. You've heard me preach about it. We've gone over this so many times. But folks, it's so powerful. It's effective. And this is something that when you have no other words to say, you can go back. When you don't know how to pray, when you don't know what's going on inside of you, this is the one thing that you can always come back to because when, when we don't know what to do, what to say, Jesus said, hey, when you pray, pray like this. Say these words. That's what Jesus is saying. He was preparing his people because they hadn't even begun to face really strong persecution yet. And folks, we haven't either. But when the time comes, we're going to have a prayer, this prayer, the one that he taught. And it's going to be ingrained inside of us so that when we face those times when we just don't have the words, we can say these words. And so say these words with me tonight. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen and amen. See, we're going to have days when we're not going to have the right words to say. We're going to have days when we just don't understand. But you know what? We can always come back and say that prayer. God, whatever your will is, 
I'm going to trust in you. I'm going to trust in you for the simple things like my daily bread. I'm going to trust in you that that you're going to help me learn to forgive. I'm going to trust in you that you are in control. It's a good prayer, isn't it? Let's live our lives uh, the same way that we say that prayer. Trusting, having hope, having confidence in who Jesus is. All right, guys. Love you. Appreciate you. Hope you've had a good day. Uh, I pray that you find time tonight to rest, to be restored, so that when we wake up tomorrow, we have a new day, a new opportunity to be a part of this great body, part of the church, a part of his bride, serving him, being his hands and feet, being a witness in this world that needs to see people who love Jesus. Well, guys, that's it. It's pretty simple, isn't it? Now, like we said this morning in the devotional, don't just be hearers of the word. Go and do. Go and do. Love y'all. Appreciate you. Have a great night. God bless. We'll see you again.